Today, Governor Doug Ducey updated Arizonans on the latest actions the state implemented to combat COVID-19. The governor announcing additional support for hospitals, information on a vaccine, and additional mitigation requirements. News 4 Tucson's Mark Mangura joining us live from downtown to break it down for us tonight. Mark? John, the governor started off the press conference by thanking Arizonans for being responsible over Thanksgiving weekend. He said that everybody did a great job following public health guidance. However, he also said that rising coronavirus cases continue to be a problem. The numbers in Arizona are heading in the wrong direction. COVID-19 cases are on the rise in the state of Arizona and they are rising around the nation. The governor announced an additional $60 million will go to Arizona hospitals to provide additional staffing. This is on top of $25 million that was previously given, totaling $85 million. That money will staff a projected 800 healthcare workers. Arizona is expected to receive a vaccine shipment in December that the governor says will be free for all Arizonans. But Arizona Health Department Director Dr. Kara Chris says people still need to wear masks and follow public health guidance. We share everyone's excitement with a COVID-19 vaccine now within sight, but we have a long way to go. So until then, it's critical that each of us take steps that are proven to reduce the spread and protect our most vulnerable. To date, Chris says that they have received over 2,800 complaints about establishments not following COVID-19 protocols and that 90% of those have been addressed and closed. She also asked the public to continue to help their efforts by reporting these issues. Governor Ducey also changed requirements on gatherings of over 50 people. Now, when an event of this size or larger is approved, the local jurisdiction must publicly announce the event and post details of the enhanced mitigation strategies on their website. The host will also have to agree to implement and enforce these efforts alongside local law enforcement. The governor also said that he would not support a statewide lockdown that would put hundreds of thousands of Arizonans out of work. We've got you covered from downtown. I'm Mark Mangura, News 4 Tucson.